We are working with probability on this one, and this is kind of a one they use a lot in probability with the sock drawer. Uh, it says that a drawer contains five black socks, two blue socks, two purple socks, and one white sock. What's the prob probability that Hayden randomly selects a blue sock, puts it back, then randomly selects a black one? Round your answer to the nearest thousandth. Now this is important that we determine whether he puts it back or whether he keeps it. In this case he puts it back and that's going to change uh, what we've got a little bit here. Okay so uh, we've got our socks and we've got a uh, blue one and a black one. So let's talk about the probability first because he selected a blue so a sock first. Let's talk about what that probability is. So we've got, and probability is calculated when we um, talk about it, it's the number that we desire, in this case the blue sock, divided by the total number available or the total possibilities that there are. So I have to add this up. I've got 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So it looks like there are 10 socks total. Uh, Hayden's going to reach his hand in there and pull one out. What's the probability it's going to be blue? Well, there are two blue socks. That means we're going to go 2 divided by 10, or if we reduce it, it would be 1 fifth. Okay, now he puts it back, then randomly selects a black one. Putting it back is a big, uh, that's going to be important because if he puts it back, now we have 10 socks to choose from again. If he were to have kept it, we would only have nine socks, and that would change our probability on our total possible on the black ones. But in this case, he put it back. So we've got a black sock now. Uh, he put it back and then randomly selects a black one. He has five black socks available, so this is five over ten, which is one half. And again, if he kept it, it would have been five over nine. That's the only real big difference here, but he had ten to choose from because he put it back. Now, we're trying to determine what the probability is that both of these events occurred. So when we're trying to figure out that probability, what we're going to do is multiply these two together. One-fifth times one-half. Okay, so we go one-fifth times one-half, that gives us one-tenth. We're asked to round our answer to the nearest thousandth. Thousandth is three decimal places, however one-tenth is just point one. that will work fine. Uh, so we just write it as point one. If you wanted to, you could write point one zero zero, but it wouldn't make... Uh, make much sense. It's just point one would work just fine on this one.